Hey everyone, welcome back to A Beer with the Brewer. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our first episode. Mm -hmm. um, this week we've got another pretty exciting beer to bring you. We've just canned freshly today our Montepulciano IPA. This is a cracker, right? Um, Flex, why don't you tell us a little bit about the beer? So, this IPA, we first decided to do something like this about this time last year. And what it was, it was a collaboration uh, between a wine grower, Matt Wank, from Smidge Wines down in McLaren Vale. He provided us uh, some Montepulciano Great Must, and uh, Matty decided to make this fantastic wine hybrid uh, blend IPA. Um, so that was 12, oh, just over 12 months ago and it went so well and everyone raved about it so much that we decided to do it again this year. Uh, last year we did it uh, in hand, we hand bottled 500 mil ones and then half of the product went into kegs as well and sold it. This year at this time we're not as fortunate to be selling kegs of it so we've decided to, uh, to can our whole batch uh, and get it out to the masses as well and it saves a little uh, bit of uh, sanity yeah. <laughs> uh, from from hand bottling, um, if if anyone's ever done that uh, before, so um, an absolutely fantastic beer. It's very visually engaging, and we'll see that shortly. And the flavour profile is one in a million. So, Maddie, whilst we uh, sample the goods, why don't you tell? everyone how you made this absolutely stunning beer thank you flex uh last year when we we're sort of uh looking at the idea of making this beer as something we hadn't done before i'd never used grapes or wine or grape juice into a beer before mm. so with many things we've done there's a bit of um experimentation and sort of uh working out on the fly uh, originally I thought we were getting a bit over 200 litres or a barrel full of grape juice mm. and that was just going to go into a nice IPA base, nice and easy. Super easy. Um, what? Yeah, we opened up the barrel the and it was full of must, <laughs> which for anyone that doesn't know is basically grapes that are a little bit crushed yeah. in the juice. And this was Easter Thursday and I thought, hmm, yes, that can wait until after Easter. Definitely. <laughs> So, um, and, and, and as the as the uh, the fresh hop saga, yeah, uh, that's putting, right. putting so, grapes into a fermenter and, and then trying to get them out again, um, very very stressful. So as we spoke <laughs> about in the last episode, um, the grape harvest is at the same time as the hops are harvested, mm. as that's when our fruit and whatever is becomes ripe in Australia. Yeah. So in the same sort of time window, we do the fresh hop beer, which is extra fun with all the hot flowers mm. and then we get to deal with a couple of hundred kilos of grapes in the brewery just a so we, nice nice stressless month right we basically make the beer on an ipa base and then whilst it's fermenting we um probably about four kilos at a time in a beaker just pour yeah. these into the top of the hand tank ladle. hand ladle them in yeah. um, once again this nearly broke flex last year so i had a new uh younger and enthusiastic helper this mm -hmm. year <laughs> but again the results come out Pretty, pretty tasty. So, yeah, it's sensational. So it's an IPA base and then the 200 odd kilos of must in there. And being on the grape skins is where it gets all the colour from. Mm. So it's, I'm not sure if you can see that in the shot, but it looks like a wine. So carbonated wine, beautiful sort of plum, purpley plum colour. Mm. Um, and then flavour wise, you get plenty of aroma. We actually pick up the hops and then behind that is the, the sort of um, complexity of the grape. Yeah, you pick up that sweet kind of so grape flavour. So Montepulciano is a variety, it's, sort of, it's an Italian variety originally that's pretty light, mm. similar to sort of a Pinot or something, um, which is what we wanted to use rather than something like a Shiraz that might overwhelm the beer. Here it's sort of light and delicate, delicate and sort of um, works well, mm. complements, works Certainly well does. together. So it's, yeah, the IPA mm. and then you've got the sort of the tannic flavour from the, the grape skins as yeah, a finish. Yeah, the skins at the finish, right? They've got a nice little acidity. Um, there as well so so it's quite a unique sort of flavor profile so once mm. again like the fresh up beer we can do it once a year um, during the harvest time yep and yeah this is the second one round so we're pretty pumped with how it's come out so we're pretty happy with how this year has come out mm. um, tasty little drop and to complement 
uh, what we've just done. We've also pulled out this from uh, last year, where we uh, barrel aged 200 litres of last year's release. So Flex, why don't you tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, with that one, um, when Maddie sent up the uh, crushed grapes for us, he also sent up uh, four French oak Shiraz barrels for us to start our little kind of barrel aging program. Barrel program yeah, yep. so we decided, well, what better way to, to kind of get into that would be to put the Montepulciano back into um, a cask and see uh, what actually kind of happens to it. And so over the last 12 months, we've been kind of testing it in bits and pieces and thought, well, why not? We're doing a, a fresh one. Why not crack it open for the uh, the 12 month kind of anniversary of it? Um, and mate, it's it's fantastic. It's got some really nice uh, flavors there. Um, some slight hop characteristics still, but more so the wine flavors have come out. Definitely drawn uh, drawn down from the barrel, um, and also that oaky style flavors. Um, the acidity also has stayed um, at the end of it. So it's a really nice kind of comparison to see the new fresh one um, compared to a nice barrel aged one. So um, yeah, if you're if you're at the at the brewery or uh, any of the, the local bottle shops, um, ask and uh, and grab some. There, there, it's a great experience to have. Cheers, Matty. Cheers. And we look forward to bringing you next week's episode where we release Le Grand Sexy. What do you buy, Hugh and Matthias? <laughs> Stay tuned. Very nice.